Evaluate both the tissue side and the occlusal side of the clear duplicate bridge and fill in any voids as needed to help secure the temporary cylinders to the clear duplicate bridge. The tissue side does not need to be as smooth or have a hygienic transition from the base up to the metal margin of the temporary cylinders because the patient will be wearing this only for a short period of time during the final bite record and the final impression for the definitive prosthesis. Use an acrylic bird to reduce and smooth the looted material. Some clinicians will also reduce about one to two millimeters of the tissue side of the clear duplicate bridge. This will ensure space for the light body impression material at the first restorative appointment for the final impression. This may also be done at the first restorative appointment. Use a stiff bristle brush and or a rubber point and smooth and blend any sharp edges. The finishing of the clear duplicate bridge can be done at a later time if desired. High shining of the clear duplicate bridge is not necessary. The clear duplicate bridge along with the small fixation screws and the multi-unit analogs are typically sent to the restorative clinician for the first restorative appointment for the final prosthesis.